It is Friday morning at 7.19 a.m. And I am at the dentist. My appointment is at 7.30. I didn't sleep well last night. I know I've said this before. And I say it on Instagram a lot. If I have an appointment in the morning, I can't sleep. Because I'm so worried I'm going to oversleep. And I do have the alarm and everything. But I'm still like, what time is it? What time is it? What time is it? So, yeah. I, plus, I have to get up and go to the bathroom. Because, you know, old. Oh, and I love my sleep. I miss my sleep. I'm probably, when I leave here, going to go home and go go back to bed. But anyway, it's hard to remember that people get up. People are like up, going to work, going to school. I'm like, what? What? That is a life I no longer live. Thank you, Jesus. Anyway. <laughs> um, yeah, so I know as much with Invisalign, whoops, is that they're going to put little sensors on my teeth, which I'm a little like, Am I going to feel them? Is that going to drive me nuts? But yeah, I am so excited to get the space closed up. And then there is like a space down here, which is why I just decided to do the Invisalign and not go somewhere for a retainer. Um, Cause this will move every thing everywhere and shift it into better place. And hopefully then it will stick and I'll at least have a tray, um, you know, that will, I suppose the last tray they give you is maybe what you pop in every now and I don't know how it works. I don't know if, how, I'm, I'm assuming that, you know, maybe you wear them at night forever. I don't know. But I am so tired. I, I, when I, when my space closed up when I was in sixth grade, like I, I may have worn the retainer some still after that, but I don't really remember doing that. Um, I'm sure I did. I'm sure they had me wear it for a while still, or maybe at night, but yeah, I mean, that was it. It closed up so fast and it was a big space. I know a big place. And it closed up super fast with that retainer because again, my teeth are, you know, my other teeth especially are very straight. Um, so anyway, he said six months, probably it'll take to fully do it. And normally Invisalign takes two years. Um, but since my teeth are straight, pretty much it's just closing them up. So anyway, and then you get bleached, which I think I said yesterday in the vlog. This is what happens when you vlog two days in a row. You're like, did I tell you all this yesterday? I may have. Anyway, and then when I go home, I'll probably take another, go back to bed. And then when I get up, I can get back to writing. And I'm doing this thing where I'm making a new YouTube video every single day in November for my other channel to rebrand it. And I'm like, what was I thinking? It's, it's str I'm struggling over there because, you know, you rebrand and it throws people off. I totally get it. Um, and YouTube is like, we don't like, what have you done? And I don't think they're showing people videos and some of the views are really low. Um, but it'll just take a while. I had initially taken all of the old videos and put them on private to really rebrand. But YouTube really didn't like that. They're like, what happened to you? We're not going to show your videos anywhere. So I put them back on live. Um, but I just wanted to build a really good base of videos too, educational videos about, um, self-publishing. So, you know, once you put a YouTube video up, it's there forever and it can earn you money forever and get views forever and all the things. So hopefully with time it will grow, but yeah, I've still got what, another week and a half to have videos. And I'm like, I'm running out of ideas. I need to do a Q and A and I'll do a new video every day with a question. Maybe that isn't such a bad idea. Okay, now it's 723. Can I go in yet? I don't know if they even have the door unlocked. I have not been up this early in, I can't remember when, because why would I be? And it's cold, which it's Iowa in November, duh. Of course it's cold. Anyway, I'm going to forget anything I said here because I'm half asleep, but I guess I'll go in and give my teeth fix. At least that's exciting. Okay, back in the car. Oh God, they put these little sensors all over your teeth. And then there's the trays and I switch them out every two weeks. And I have 14 different ones. So yeah, I didn't even see the dentist guy. Just, just the hygienist did it. And yeah, I know I will start aching later. She said, do not take Advil. Only take Tylenol for pain because Advil will reduce the swelling and you actually want it to swell to move your teeth. Um, you know, don't eat or drink with them in uh, or drink like anything with sugar or that's going to stain 
unless you use a straw, obviously. Soak them. It's got a cleaner thing with them. It's a whole thing. It's a whole thing. But I was just kind of like, okay, bye. <laughs> just, I don't know. It's so weird. Um, I don't know. It's weird to get used to. I mean, I had a retainer, you know, a long time ago. And uh, I had teeth whitening trays, but you didn't put them in all day. So it's just going to get used to having them in. But I'm excited. Six months, hopefully. And this space is gone because my lip is getting caught in that space. I'm like my upper lip will get caught in it. And, you know, again, like I said, I haven't had a space there since I was 11. And I don't like it. So... This should do it up. She said you'll get a retainer at the end. So I'm maybe something you wear at night. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. Anyway, that's all there is to that. So now I'm going to go to McDonald's, get Papa his drinks for the day, and then go home and maybe I will go back to bed because I'm, I'm still tired. Eh, these look so weird. I mean, I don't know if they come through on camera, but you know, whatever. It'll be worth it. Okay. Well, here's the monorail. It came. It's all set up. Doesn't it look great? Can't get the dang thing to work. First of all, I took these buffers off because I thought they were just part of the packaging. Um, I guess you're supposed to leave them on. You switch this in the bottom here. There's a little lever and it kind of sputters. I've changed three different batteries in it. Now it's not working at all. <sighs> and I didn't buy it from Disney. I bought it off of eBay. So yeah, I ordered new batteries. It was talking for a bit, but now it's not doing anything. I put those things back on, but I don't know if that messed it up completely. Um, but yeah, so I ordered new batteries. We'll have to see if they fix that when it comes. If not, I guess I'll piece it out. I don't know what to do. I'm just like so mad. <laughs> I mean, it's just a simple toy. Like there's batteries in here. Here's the remote. This is the powerful car. It's gonna push or pull and control everything, but it's just not working. So that's, it's, that's, that's been my entire afternoon is cussing and trying to get that thing to work. So yay, Disney. What are you doing back there, Charlie? You're definitely not gonna help the situation if you break the track. But this is where being a reseller comes in handy. If they're, if I end up, I can't use it, I can just piece it out for parts. Because like I said, I didn't buy it from Disney. I can't return it. Cha Charlie, you undid the tree. Oh, Charlie, you unplugged it completely. Are you having fun in there? Stand clear of the doors, yes. That's very dangerous to be up on the monorail station like that. I mean, at least it looks cute. <sighs> Hi, it's Saturday. We've had Invisalign now for 24 hours and ow, <laughs> ow. <laughs> the aching has begun, which is to be expected. Um, I'm used to sore gums with my neutropenia anyway, but it's no fun. So loading up on the Tylenol and you can see um, yeah, anyway, I'm trying to leave them alone because I just like want to grind my teeth and touch them. <laughs> but I do like leaving them in because if you take them out, first of all, it's hard to get them out because they like snap in there. Um, but you have to take them out when you eat. So then you've got to brush your teeth, brush them, do the whole thing over. So it's honestly just like easier to leave them in. Um, and I mean, minimally take them out. So it, the good thing is, is like, I no longer want a late night snack. So if I'm working, I'm like, I need something to eat. No, cause then these things have to come out and I got to brush my teeth, wash them, no. So I don't know. Anyway, um, yeah, I have, oh my God, can you see, look at the table back there, packages. You're just getting so many packages. So I've got a few here I thought I'd open. I'm probably gonna go back to doing vlogs on this channel mostly, um, occasionally a standalone video, but I'm doing standalone videos on my newly rebranded self-publishing channel. So that's like standalone, 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 all in the same background. I don't know. Anyway, now that I've yammered, I got a package today from Melissa at Fresh Blooming Clothing. And, 
Oh my gosh, look at the cute sticker set she sent. I'm sure most of you are subscribed to Melissa. If you're not, I will link her below. She is a an eBay seller um, who has chronic illness, but that girl kills it. I mean, she now is doing jewelry and she'll post her sales on Instagram. She's like, I'm just a very part part-time seller. I'm like, Melissa, you're pretty much running a jewelry company over there. Aw, Thanksgiving card. Oh, look at the squirrel. I love squirrels. This is so cute. Bear and Melissa. I liked these wood blocks as a mini display. Oh, <laughs> where are the wood blocks? <laughs> Car oh, sent a little package. She is so thoughtful. I wish I was half as thoughtful as she was. We'd all be better people. Ho, ho, ho. You calling me a ho? <laughs> oh, they're like a little, oh. So you put your little card in. One kind word can warm three winter months. You are beautiful, capable, and worthy. You are enough, that's her tagline. You are so enough, it's unbelievable how enough you are. Dance like no one is watching because they are not. They're on their phones. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> A year from now, you'll be happy that you started today. Yes, very true. Kindness is free. Sprinkle that stuff around like confetti. Another one of her you are enough cards. And then let your beautiful soul explode with happiness. And see, like you put the little card in. That's so clever. Thank you, Melissa. So sweet. Okay, what's this? It's from Amazon and it's addressed to me, which means I probably ordered it. It's a bag in a bag. What did I order? Oh, a new phone charger kit, yes, because my cord on the one I had went kaplooey. So I found this pack of two. For my iPhone, you should put all this in the packaging from Amazon. You have so much packaging, Amazon. Okay, then the doggies got their BarkBox. So BarkBox is a monthly subscription service for dogs. You can choose, they have a lot of options now, which is nice. You can choose the size, like if you have small breed, medium, large, um, the types of toys they get treats. Um, I recently switched. So I added a subscription. I did a double box and then I made one plush toys, one super chewing toys. And then I upped the size to, um, on the plush toys, I upped the size to a medium on the super chewer toys. I downgraded to a small, didn't downgrade down. I did. I went down to a small because the super chewer toys are heavier, so they needed the small ones. The plush toys, they just destroy, so I needed bigger ones. So I think that's what we've got here, the plush, little bigger size, maybe? Yes, I'm not sure. Anyway, oh, we've got the Thanksgiving bark out of your gourd. That is so funny. Teddy loves these little, here's the thing, I don't like these little pieces because Teddy shoves them all in his mouth, gums them all up and then brings it to me. I'm like, I don't want to touch that. Dog, it's Nana's throw pillow. Home is where the treats are. And you can tuck a little treat in there. My dogs are so lazy. If I put anything and like, you have to get it, they just look at me. Mm, mm, you get it, mom. And then we have this cute little turkey. And then we have some chicken sticks. They like these a lot. You can see them there. And you can get Bark products at Target. Um, we have Oinky Jerky Bars with the pork. They've had these before. They love those. And then we have Ba Ba Biscuits. So what I'm seeing with this is I need, so I do a double of the other one, but I want to do a double of both of them. So I've been moving my subscriptions around. So this is the regular size. I think three bags of treats, three toys. I told you they have a lot of options now, and I am not ashamed to say I'm confused, but I can go in there and fix it. 
And of course I will link BarkBox below. There's the bottom of the box. Now this should be their super chewer one. You can also do add-ons, which is very dangerous, but it's just nice because um, I love to buy them toys and they love getting toys. So this is just an easy way to get them a lot of toys. Now, or was that the super, is that the super chewer? No. It doesn't say. I don't think that's, I don't know. I'm confused. How many times in this video can I say, I don't know? Start counting. Go back. Rewatch. Add it up. I don't know. Okay, here's what this one looks like. Now this one, okay. These are the meaning, okay. So this was the super chewer one, but I don't think I changed the toys. I made it super chewer toys. I don't think these are super chewer toys. They're usually like the rubbery ones. Now this is the size medium plush toys medium size because like I rather would have them have this size than this because they gum it all up and then they fight. This type of thing, which I mean, how freaking adorable. It's a Betty Crocker cookbook. Um, oh my gosh. I kind of don't want to give it to them because it's so cute. But this is bigger. They can both play with it. Then we have the bigger size of the gourd one. Like you can see small. And what does this say? This just says small. Extra small to small. Medium to large. So you can see the difference. Oh, they sent the turkey too. Again, you can see the difference. I mean, they, they're small. They'll play with this. But they also will play with that. And then... It's squeak vision Oh my gosh, how funny. Crinkly. Then we've got Baba Jerky Bars. Again, I think we got that in the, the same size. Hmm. This bag is different, but they seem like they're the same thing. <coughs> Excuse me. Wakey Wakey Soft Bars, Bacon and Oatmeal. Magic Jerky Bars, another um, with the biscuits with the lamb. Oh, Jerky Bars and biscuits, okay. So we've got biscuits, one in each, and then the jer these were Jerky Bars. Two different kinds of chews, which they love. Okay, so that was the double box, medium size plush toy. The first one was the regular box, small size plush. I want to change the small size, double it, and do super chewer. Y'all just fell down. Clearly you're tired of me talking. And no, I'm not going to edit that out. Um, I need to change this to the super chewer. Okay, that's fine. Okay, well, we'll do one more box in this video. I have this from The Body Shop. I love the body shop. It's my favorite store. I see that they closed the one in Jordan Creek Mall in Des Moines. If you're from Des Moines, let me know for sure that it's gone. Um, I don't know if Davenport and Moline still have them. If you're in Quad Cities, you can let me know. Both of their malls back in the day, I mean, I'm talking like 15, 20 years ago, both had body shops. So I don't know what the situation is. Okay. I have two boxes in here because one is an advent calendar. I love their advent calendars. They sold out super fast this year, which is probably a good thing. So I only could get the cheapest one. Here's the deal. I have a lot of advent calendars because I just feel like this is the year for advent calendars. So um, I think I'm gonna do Vlogmas on this channel, a video every day through the 24th. Um, and then every day I can show you the advent calendars. So let me know if that sounds like something fun to watch. I have been doing a daily video over on my second channel to rebrand it. Um, I'm almost done. Oh, that's been a challenge. Let me tell you what, I'm like, I kick it off. I'm like, oh, I'm just gonna have a new topic every day. I'm like, what are we gonna talk about today now? Um, but I think I'll do Vlogmas here with 
vlogging, obviously, but making sure to show those advent calendars. So let me know what you think. I got this one. It's upside down. This was the smallest one. And you can see that's what it looks like. So I have this one. I have a mini brand, this one, a mini brands. I have two chocolate ones from Aldi. I have one, two, three different ones, four different ones for the dogs. I have a cheese one from Aldi. I got my dad one special. I mean, you can have any of them, but um, one that I thought maybe he could like special. So yeah, we got a lot and I'm not opposed to buying more. I just feel like this is the year for the advent calendars. Okay, so I ordered that and then I bought this. The only thing a lot of people do with the advent calendars is they open them all up on, the ch on their channel at once which while that is fun to watch I'm like that's not fun to do I mean I want to open them every day I need like an entire banquet table to lay them all out at this point okay then I just ordered some individual things they're uh vitamin c glow glow the thing glow boosting microderm abrasion I don't know that I've ever tried that one then one of their lemon purifying face washes. That's a new one for me. The seaweed pour cleanser. I I don't know if I've used this exact one. I've used their other seaweed products. The tea tree skin cleanser because I'm oily. Oily. A favorite is the peppermint foot scrub. They could sell this in a gallon bucket. I wish they would. And then. I got some of these little um, lippy things that I don't think I've ever tried these before. And of course they have a sticker on them and it says, just peel the sticker off. Well, I'm trying and you're not coming off. So I'm going to cut you. Will that work? Nope. Seriously, come on. The body shop is restarting their at home little business thing, which is like an MLM direct sales. They used to have it in America. And I actually was a member of that for a while just so I could get the discount. Um, but now they're starting it up again. I believe they've had it in Europe this whole time, but there's what they look like. Mm. This one is strawberry pomegranate and then I have a if I could see I have those glasses that are like are the or no these are just these are just the light glasses that blur out the light where did those little bifocals go why am I asking you you don't live here um raspberry something and then this one is is it blueberry? I don't know. They're fruity. I like their lip balms. Okay, so that's all I'm gonna open in this video. Next vlog, I'll just open more stuff because stuff just keeps coming, but I'm gonna go out and give uh, the doggies their bark box. Look doggies, what you get? <gasps> it's bark box! Charlie, it's bark box! What? What'd we get? Wow! <laughs> what is it, Charlie and Teddy? Say happy Thanksgiving. Is it toys? Look, what's this? He's like, these are the toys. Where are the treats, Mom? Give me a break. Look at how cute this one is, Dad. A cookbook. A toy cookbook. <laughs> what you think, Charlie? Potato juice. Potato Okay, everyone, I was getting ready to wrap up um, the vlog, but I thought I'd show you the caregiver planner that just came in the mail. I needed this for myself, so I made it. <laughs> um, and this is under my Jean Lee Publishing pen name, so I'll link it below. Um, if those of you are interested in one, but here's what it looks like with the yearly calendar, then everything about the person you're caring for, all of like the bills that they would pay, 
all of their financials, their health, specialty doctors, um, their medications, other providers. My dad, you know, has the hearing aid, the optometrist, other dentist, um, health history, so immunizations, all the kind of stuff that you get asked when you go to the doctor. This is another one, family history, pet information. Obviously that I have that on mine for myself, but um, if who are you caring for if they have pets, like what's going on now, favorites and nap time, all that stuff, emergency contacts, write in local emergency numbers, a typical daily schedule, and then each month you get a budget sheet, a monthly budget calendar, not a budget calendar, a monthly calendar, excuse me. And then every week you get a meal planner plus a grocery list, and then the weekly calendar grid. So then next week at the meal planning. This is what I really, you know, it's like meals and medication and budgeting. When you're caring for somebody, you've got to figure all that stuff out. So this is what I thought would be best pages for them. And then you get to, where's February? Oop. At the end of January and then February starts again with another monthly budget sheet. And in the back, I do have contact Okay, it's very hard to do this with one hand. Let me tell you what, contacts. So you can write in important contact information. So that is it. I'm very happy with how it came out. Nice, thick quality book. Um, the reason I made it bigger is because, you know, usually I need more room to write. A smaller book, it's just too hard. So I wanted a full size book, easy to take with me if I want to take it to appointments. Um, if I have a larger bag, I can throw it in there. Um, and make notes and changes and all the things because all the appointments and all the stuff. If you're a caregiver, you know. So I wanted to make it plenty roomy, plenty of room to write. So anyway, I wanted to show you that. And with that, I'm going to end the vlog. If you liked it, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed. And I will see you um, in the next video, whenever that may be. I did get a box from Lost, what's it called? Lost Loot. It's a um, undeliverable mail package. So that might be its own video. I'll try to record that tomorrow and get it up this week, but it's just going to be personal stuff here on the channel. Like I said, I do have that second channel now where I'm talking about my full-time job now, which is publishing books, no longer reselling. <laughs> anyway, thank you guys for watching. Bye.